Hey, what's up guys, Sam here. So for a few days, I've been sitting on this idea of customizing my iPhone. And if you're like me, you probably love the customization, but knew that shortcuts was kind of a workaround because every time you tapped on an app icon, it shot you somewhere else before it shot you to the app that you actually wanted to go in. And then theming the icons took such a long time and the icons were all over the place. Today, I've got a whole new approach that takes, probably you can do all this in less than five or 10 minutes instead of spending a couple hours like you may have done in the past. For all new icons, spaces on your home screen using widgets, uh, <laughs> this one's wild, charging sound and charging animation, as well as my favorite wallpaper app where you can get some super slick presets. I, uh, I'm excited for this one because I, I really feel like I'm using a whole new phone and I bet you'll feel the same way. So drop a like if you're excited, hit subscribe for more. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so let's start off with the fun part, which is changing your app icons. I tried to do this in the past, but it's so time consuming. You have to find your images. You have to go through step by step. Like I made an initial video on this and while it was fun, like I actually spent a couple of hours just prepping to make that video back in September. But with Moloko, it's a totally different story. So what you do is you go into the app and it shows you themes. Now the only con here is that you can't use any app icons. You have to select from one of their pre-selected options, but the variety is really impressive to me and uh, I, I've been personally blown away. So you know what? I really like the way that these icons right here look. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on this. Now I know you're skeptical. Listen, I was extremely skeptical as well. I'm going to scroll down and then tap on system apps download. Once you tap on download, it's gonna shoot over here, ask you to install a profile. Now, I know this seems sketchy. I have had a great experience with it so far. Um, go to profile downloaded in settings, tap on install, enter your passcode, and once you do that, guess what happens? You've got this on your device. Now, this is cool because when you go back to the home screen, it looks a little bit different when you swipe up. You have a ton of extra app icons. Now, if this is not incredible, watch what happens when you start tapping on them. Oh, what's that? You're surprised it goes directly into the app. Yeah, that's thanks to a new improvement in iOS 14.3, where it no longer takes you to the shortcuts at first. It gives you direct access. The only asterisk here is that at the time of recording this, iOS 14.3 is not out to the public, so it's not out for everybody yet. You can get an early access version of it at beta.apple.com for these instant access to apps without the shortcuts app, but you could also just do this on iOS 14.2 or whatever version you're on, and then when iOS 14.3 does come out in probably less than a month, you'll get the instant app access overnight whenever you update. So you can do it now or later, but the functionality is just around the corner for everybody. And you can even try it early if you want. And I want to highlight just a few of my favorites here. Uh, they've really got a style here for everybody. I think the only one I would just say, hmm, maybe no, is a uh, Raketa. Um, you know, I mean, this really does look like they said, all right, you know, we went to Apple daycare and asked somebody for their, their master plan. But Skewo is a play on iOS 6 icons, and this one is just stunning. Like it, I don't know what to tell you guys. It just looks absolutely incredible. I, I really, really dig the way that this looks. Or you go and you find this one, the darker black. This is literally inverting every single one of your icons to be completely black. Technically, it does save a little bit of battery life because with an OLED display on one of the newer iPhones, we're talking iPhone 10, 10s, 11 Pro, any one of the 12s, you know, the true black shuts off pixels. But I, I do like this one as well, like Black Wars 3. You've got this sort of gold theme going on, which is very cool. There's just like so many to choose from. And I'm just disappointed at this point that I didn't know this existed until like just recently. Now, on the other hand, if you don't like Moloko because not every single app is supported, you can still add custom icons by going to shortcuts, doing the icon thing there. Um, and still, it will just give you a little banner at the top of the screen most of the time when you launch up an app that you've installed that way. All I'm saying, all I'm saying is that this is the coolest thing that uh, I've ever done, not only because it saves you like half a lifetime in setup, uh, you get to customize your icons and it's just as responsive as you'd expect. Like I, I cannot tell you guys how incredible this is. Like it, it, it takes 10 seconds to do. Next up for the wallpaper app, it's just my personal go-to. I like this one a lot. I didn't really have a wallpaper app until recently, but there's some really cool ones in here. Um, I mean, like the, the, the feed, the my upload community ones, there's, I mean, it's just like perfect. Like they're just these nice abstract wallpapers. And I honestly 
could not ask for anything other than this. These are the type of wallpapers I'm looking for. And hey, I just wanted to spread the word because I feel like it really helps you get that theme that you maybe wanted to get, but just didn't know how to do. Now, the final portion of this that I just discovered very recently is about charging icons, animations, and sounds. This one is by far the most complicated of any of them, but you can do some cool things when you plug in your iPhone to charge it now. Technically, you can play any sound you want. Um, you, you really can, it's up to you. But I found this app that's got a couple of um, definitely non-US themed sounds, but it's got some cool animations. It is called Charger Master, and let me show you how it works. Like I said, it's free to download, but to enable the charging animation, you do have to pay two bucks for it via an in-app purchase. But what you do to set up the charging animation, that part is incredibly easy. Just go into the app, pick any of these that you want. Like there's an Apple or animation or two. There's some other cool stuff. You got Nyan Cat, of course. And once you've done that, you just tap on it. You've paid for it. You hit set. Setup succeeded. So then what you do is head over to the shortcuts application. Um, like I said, this one takes like three seconds. Just create a new personal automation right here and then uh, go down to charger and then tap on next and then tap on add action. You go to scripting, open app, and then choose Charger Master. And just like that, guys, you are ready to rock and roll. Just when you hit next, turn off Ask Before Running so it can run on its own. And to show you just how satisfying this is, when you plug in your iPhone, I mean, just like that, it's ready to go. You can switch between any one of these. I mean, the selection's pretty good. Again, you gotta pay two bucks for these, but honestly, I've gotten $2 worth of fun out of this, and I'll leave a link to this app down below as well. I think there are some free apps that do this, but this is the one that I have found that does it the best. It oh, and, and that actually just spoiled the next one because I, I've actually already set this up before recording. Uh, you can do a custom charging sound, and through Charger Master, they have these sounds included. Um, now, their method is very complex. Like. I don't even, is it work? I, yeah, I guess we should jump into it just so you know. You like copy the sound and then you paste the sound. Um, it's, you know, it's a few step process. You basically have to go into shortcuts and start an automation, start another one that's personal for the charger when you're connected. Then you go to documents, text, and then you paste this very specific string of text that references the sound in Charger Master. Once you've done that, you're gonna tap on the X in the top right hand corner and then go to scripting again and find this thing. You might have to search for it because I did called base64 encode. Once you've done base64 encode, you tap on encode and press decode. Once you've pressed on decode, then you press the plus below all of that, go to scripting again, play sound, and then you're ready to go. You hit next, you disable ask before running, and it is complete. Whew, yeah, it's a little complicated. Or, or if you uh, want to do something a little bit simpler, you can just go create a new charger automation when you connect and, uh, you know, just go to media, have it play a song. And just like a rabbit on Easter, I've got one more trick to show you. All right, so you know how your iPhone home screen, you've never been able to really control where the app icons go. They always go default to the top left corner. No matter how you try to slend them or slide them or glizzy them in here, you know, they just kind of end up wherever. So there's this really sick app that I found called Yidget. You gotta yidget this one, boys. All right, so what you do is head over to the App Store, download the app, and then this process uh, kind of confused me, so I'll try to explain it in the best way possible. This basically uses widgets to create blank space, and it's pretty simple. So just go in, on your iPhone, go into wiggle mode, and go to a completely blank page. So set the wallpaper with perspective zoom turned off that you want. Then once you have uh, the wallpaper that you've got set with perspective zoom off, go over to a blank page on your home screen while in jiggle mode, I know this seems weird, and screenshot. Now once you've got that screenshot, head back over to Yidget. And when you go inside of Yidget, tap on create, tap on your most recent screenshot that you just took. Once you've done that, it will pull up this page where it shows you a little preview. You can move it and scale it if you want. I did not, I, I was honestly just happy with the way that it was. And then uh, you can go ahead and tap on the save icon in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Once you've done that, you're ready to go because then you go back over to your home screen. And what you guys can do is tap and hold to go into your widget view just like this, tap on plus. It might appear at the top, if not, just go down to this one that has no label. It's Yidget, and then you can do small, medium, or large. I want it to take up a lot of my screen, so I'm gonna hit large, just like that. I mean, there's few things that are this satisfying in life, 
but this is one of them. All right, look at this, now you've got a page. Obviously it does show up when you move your wallpaper, but I kind of dig it, I think it looks really, really cool actually. And now you have icons on the just the bottom page. I mean, this is high level stuff. And this is the full tutorial of how to perfectly theme your iPhone. If you would have blindfolded me and uh, said that this would happen in 2020, I would have said no way. But this is pretty much comparable to Android at this point, and I'm thankful for that. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you learned something new. Uh, let me know what setups you guys chose down below, your favorites, your least favorites, uh, what your favorite themes were. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll catch you in my next video.